welcome to the first episode of my COVID savings snow tips. This week we're looking at how you get out to the mountains in the current climate. So the big headline is you don't want to fly. Aside from the associated COVID risks of getting in a plane, what you're finding, what most people are finding at the moment who are flying are that a lot of the flights are getting cancelled. So you're either getting held up on the way out or on the way back because there's less frequency and less bookings. So in general, I would say flights are out. It's also really hard to get refunds back on flights as EasyJet proved last winter. So technically, Put that one over to one side if you really do want to fly then go for an airport that is doing testing at the airport i'll put the details of those airports in the text uh, next up you've got the ski train that was unfortunately cancelled this year so the alternative is changing in paris so what was quite a good option, despite being cramped into a carriage, you were in there from start to finish. Now you'd have to, if you wanted to go via the train, you'd have to change in Paris. So alongside being stuffed into a carriage with other people and going through Paris, uh, I don't think it's the wisest idea at the moment, which means we're left with driving. Uh, it's the safest option. You're the masters of your own destiny and Euro, Euro Tunnel are doing some fantastic deals at the moment. You can get returns for two pounds you can get a flexi fare for 460 pounds and I would highly recommend this because you can cancel it at any point uh, up to 12 months before the time of travel and if you've got the fun spare this is a really interesting one uh, you can book the flexi fare and because you can cancel it right up to the last minute you can arrive at the terminal if there's a cheaper return fare available there then just buy that one and cancel the flexi fare and then you've got all of your bases covered uh, another good Good point to make as well that is the Euro Tunnel do a fantastic insurance that covers you while you're up on the mountain winter sports insurance but it also covers you on the road on your journey out there but and this is a huge but don't buy any insurance while the Foreign Office is advising against recreational travel because it will be invalidated I'm gonna go into more detail on that though in the insurance episode okay uh, if you do drive out though there are lots of upsides First and foremost, you won't have to pack yourselves into resort buses once you get into resort. Yes, you'll have to pay, pay for parking, but uh, you won't have that cramped COVID risk in the buses. Uh, you can also... And this leads us nicely on to the accommodation episode, which is coming up next week. If you go for self-catering, you can stuff the car with food. And if you want way more space for food, then you can also rent while you're in a resort with your equipment. That will leave more room for food. And as Intersport proved last year, you can cancel those right up to the last minute. So that's another cost that you won't have to worry about if your holiday should get cancelled. Um, okay, I think that's just about everything. As always, please leave your comments about your experiences and your worries uh, down below uh, it's the best way of pooling all of our information to make this the best resource that it possibly can be all uh, comments welcome except ones about my moustache I'll see you next week